But just think when we get to this place that's prepared for us, it's going to be even better. It's going to be better than all the, 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 the cell phones and all the things that you have today that you can't live without. It's going to be better when we get to that place that's prepared for us. If we hold out and if we are, if we are obedient and we trust the Lord and we walk up rightly before him, praise the Lord, and you think about others as you go along and think about how you treat them and how they feel. You know, sometimes you say you can say things to people and it hurt them so bad until uh, they seem to, you know, they just can't get over it. And it just hurts so bad, words can hurt. Be, be careful what you say, because words hurt. Be careful how you, you know, how you, it's better sometimes not to say anything. Uh, how you answer a person when they, uh, sometimes they ask you a lot of questions. But uh, you don't have to lie. But you can always answer a question with a question. You know, they used to always get on me about, about doing that. Because I told them I don't lie. And I try not to lie. And you don't have to lie. But you can, and you can give them a reasonable answer. But you can always answer a question with a question. Praise the Lord. When they want to know why you did something or why you said something and you don't want to tell them why, you just ask, you know, why, why do you want to know that? <laughs> We have to be so careful what we say. Uh, we have to be so careful, you know, how we live. You know, people are watching you. The unsaved are watching you. And if they see you, you're supposed to be so saved and so holy, and you're doing that, then I, you know, I'm just as good as they are. That's why we have to think about others. And we have to, uh, because we, we are responsible for how we act. We are responsible for what we do. And you don't want somebody to uh, look at your life and say, I don't want to be a Christian if that's the way Christians live. Mm -hmm. You know, if Christians, I've heard people say this, if Christians talk like that, I don't want to be a Christian because I'm better off. Mm -hmm. So let us, um, you know, be careful what we say Hallelujah. and how we say it mm -hmm. and how we do it, praise the Lord, because, you know, there's somebody's watching you. And if you want to go to that prepared place, keep that in mind. That place is prepared for you. And I don't want to miss it, praise the Lord. Then that will make you treat others the way you want to be treated. You know, um, sometimes you see uh, uh, people, homeless people on the street, and they look so bad, and they smell even, smell even worse. But you can give them a kind word. You can even smile at them, and that will help. You know, uh, sometimes they think that, that everybody is just against them, and they are just so down, and they are so hurt. But if you can just give them a smile, that will make their day. If you say a kind word to lift them up, because sometimes you don't know what they are going through, and you have to realize Everybody's mind is not as strong as yours. And sometimes they kind of, they, you know, they kind of lose their mind or they kind of off track and they don't know really what they are doing. But you know it's the devil. But we have power over the devil, don't we? And so we, we can take power, take authority over that spirit, praise the Lord. And well, you can give them a kind word or say something nice to them. But even though sometimes they hurt your feelings or maybe they say something, but realize it's not them. Mm -hmm. That's Satan. Yes. That's their master that's using them. But you're better than that. Mm -hmm. You are better than that, yes. praise the Lord. Yes. But we love one another and we treat each other like we love each other. Mm -hmm. When you hurt, I hurt. I might not tell you all the time that I love you or that I'm praying for you, but I am. You know, sometime at night when you are sleeping and you wake up, oh, about 3 o'clock in the morning, and, 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 and the Lord will bring a different ones to your mind. And you don't know why. Maybe somebody you haven't thought about for a long time, but you begin to pray. And you pray for that person because a lot of times they are going through something and you don't know 
you don't you don't know you don't know about it but the spirit will wake you up and you can pray for him and you can you can pray anywhere and your prayer can your prayers can reach wherever they are praise the lord they don't have to be you don't have to be there all the time to lay hands on them if they're sick you just lay hands on them but you can pray and 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 pray for them wherever they are and you don't have to always lay hands on them praise the lord yeah, I thank God because God is good, and I think that, that that He loves us. You know that you know. I just wake up and I just say, Lord, I know You love me. I know You love me because He, you know, because He supplies my need. Praise the Lord, and He promised that He wouldn't leave us or forsake us. And you know that He's there. Sometimes uh, you feel that you you know you that He forgot.